right, so welcome to this review on AWeber and how to use AWeber. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you the steps. Um, so really in this blog post, I, I give you a step-by-step -step process and you will see this video in here. And I talk about other few things. Um, so when, when you're creating your first list, uh, so I did a test list over here. And you just hit create, create new list, just create list. And you just go through the steps. And you're just gonna go through all the steps and you're gonna hit next and you don't put in your name. Uh, you just your sender email, name the list and describe it and hit next. And that's how you set up a, set up a new list. Okay, so when, when you do, when you create a new sign up form, Using it, create. Now, if you're using a like Optimize Press or ClickFunnels or Thrive Themes or anything in that nature, you really don't need to do this step. So, if you are a beginner, you might want to do this. Uh, so, you just want to set up a basic. Um, so, there are different types of themes inside of here that you can use you just pick one and you're just going to come back and you're going to be like save your form then you know go to your next step now if you don't have a thank you page but if you do have a thank you page you can hit custom page and just put in your url now if someone has previously subscribed and you updated the the course of something you this is the part where you're, you're actually going to send them to you know send them to the course instead or the pdf or whatever it is that you're trying to send them to your free offer and then you're going to go there and hit next step okay go back and save form it's it's it's, it's just not saving today i don't know why it's not saving but if we go back it's already in here it's it's, it's right here Right, so obviously we're not using this as our opt-in. Um, if you do, that's the way you do it, and then you're supposed to send people. Now, next part is where are we at. So, as I said, I was going to use this whole thing: how to create a simple email sequence. Okay, so when you're creating an email sequence, such as follow up okay so so say if I wanted to, to do a little more than just be like grab your ebook um, let me show you a different one now actually create a message is a really simple I, I have pretty much a the only, the only thing I don't like about email originally is the open rate sucks like of people are opting in to a course and not grabbing it for some some weirdly freaking godly reason okay right so so a creating a message is pretty simple so you just create the drop down and email builder and when you're doing it as soon as it loads you're going to create your message as soon as it loads okay so how to okay so let's talk about the value email sequence so you don't have an opt-in opt-in a a welcome message and this don't want to load okay so wait i'm gonna, I'm gonna go over this with you this. so it's not about just pitching the crap out of people so uh you your, obviously, your first message is going to be free gift. Then, second message is going to be providing more value, want more real followers. This is actually a blog post I sent people to. Um, the actual, the actual email is pretty much, and in all regards, I I think it's really dying because it's only getting like, even if you're a really good marketer, you're only getting like a forty percent open rates, right? And if you have 10,000 people, well, 
that's, that's, that's not really that great. You know what I mean? Um, so then what you'll do is you'll provide a second value email, um, more reach on it on, on Instagram, like like this, this, and this are all like my my little value sequence. I don't usually sell people on anything. Um, it's just the way that I do it, and what I do is I broadcast people into something they want or they like or they they want to get into, right? So let's say they I'm gonna get into that and we get to campaigns but for now I, I just want you to get you to understand that it's not where I'm selling people I'm selling people into the campaigns which is which is pretty much the same thing as a sequence but these are targeted people that are looking to get into growing their followers that are generating leads or whatever or whatever it is that they're trying to do so Next part is how to create a broadcast message, right? So when we're creating broadcast messages, you, just, you know, click here and hit broadcast. Now they have brought in the split test. I haven't really tested the split test, so it's not something that I am going to show you at this point. So what you're going to do here, I'm going to do this simply. Let's let's go to drafts. Um, let me see if I got something in drafts that that I saved. Uh, Okay, so insert here. Okay, so I have one of Christmas comes early this year, right? Um, so let's schedule broadcast and let's click. Um, we would we 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 would just pick a day and then we hit apply now do you want automations okay now automations this is where it gets interesting because um, open okay so let's say insta instagram basics so you can actually take them through a series of ordeals and said now i, I don't want to send it so you need to have a link in here or if you want them to just send them to the open part I looked at people of, of what they're doing and w one of the things that's going on is especially in f and for the opens and going into into the uh, campaigns it's not best to use this option the best is to get them to click now the people that are clicking these are be these are be much more people that are looking to see what you have other to offer. Then you just send out. Now, in order to get these campaigns running, you have to set up some more stuff, right? I mean, there's always more stuff to set up. So, what I'm going to do is, so I'm going to show you. First of all, I'm gonna use this as a test, so we're gonna see we're just gonna use test, right? And everything is set up just like a follow-up sequence. It is no different, except the only thing is you're gonna be on subscribe. What was that? Tag, tag apply on pause. So then you know, write your message, you know, wait, right? And we'll put a tag applied and put another message. Um, one of the things I don't like is that you have to be scrolling down and, and it don't have like a scroll down menu option for this, which one thing I do not like. Oh, it does. But it, it gets really jammed in there. And you, you have to know which message that you're choosing. But let's go back real quick uh, for I can actually show you. And it's going to say, it's going to tell you if it's active or not. I, I have a couple different campaigns like a uh, three step course for email marketing, advanced email marketing, um, free ebook. This is for people uh, 
all. This campaign was for people that were looking to get my ebook, and I was pretty much getting them to share it across the social media. Um, this one is just the basics. Just get them started with Instagram marketing. This is DM groups. Um, be creating a couple other ones here shortly, but that's, that's pretty much the basics. So what you would do is you would go into DM groups. As you as you see, I have two messages set up. I have I have the trigger, which is the first message, and this is be my first message. Comments are the best strategy. DM groups, uh, free DM groups are dead. <clears throat> and and then go. Oh, and then we're now. You could apply a tag here, like a, a wait tag, and you can wait one day, or you can apply three days, right? I'll, I'll give them time to open this email, give them time to read it, or whatever it is you're trying to do. So then there, you just click save. Now, if, if, if the campaign is not active, it, it's going to tell you it's it's close campaign or stop campaign and it will actually tell you to activate it. so next okay we talk about how to create a broadcast message um, how to create your first form how to create a value sequence message which is pretty much giving people value and instead of doing the whole pitch thing of people that might not be interested we talk about sending people into campaigns instead and we talk about how to set up campaigns um so let me see if there's anything other that you really need and really need to know inside of this you don't really need to know how to manage your subscribers um one thing i i do want to go over that that is not on the blog post is integrations now if you're straight selling people to a product and you're building your list that way you you are going to have to set this up uh, it's been so long since i set this up but i, I want to show you that you do have this option uh, probably something i will put on later um, inside the blog post a step by step how to do this but for now uh, what i want to do is just show you you have options when it comes to this option here. So we're gonna wait on it. You can disconnect, I don't wanna disconnect mine. So right down here, you're gonna, Jesus Christ. So right down here, you, you're gonna be able to choose the list that you wanna send them to. Instagram source for business, Instagram blueprint, or whatever it is that you have going on inside Aweber. So you, you'll be able to set that up. If you follow the instructions here, you'll be able to set all this up. And all I do is click learn more, connect to PayPal. And it's, it's pretty simple to do. And after that, you just, you just grab your link and you just send it about as way. Um, okay, let's talk, okay, let's talk about list options. Um, so yeah, yeah, list options, which I did not put this on the blog uh, probably not going to okay so you don't have list options when, when it comes to when it comes to doing a lot of things when it comes to doing a lot of things okay so you don't have list options uh so you can come in here and rename your stuff uh you know to give the description and of your next step is a personalize your list uh, this is going to be your logo. You don't always have to have all this all this nonsense that it's going on. There's a lot of default stuff. This really don't matter, but confirmation message. Okay. What what I want to talk about is double opt-in or, or just opt-in in. So on different lists, I have different stuff that I, that I have going on. One, I have this is my... Instagram product. Um, this is well, I'll say the course, the free course that is inside of Instagram and showing people what you should be doing, what you shouldn't be doing, and should you really be posting every day, right? Um, 
So to able to get this these both turned off, you're literally gonna have to contact Aweber. I, I wish there was another option that you could use to do this, but there's not. Uh, it's really the only way that you're going to be able to get a double opt. Not to have a double opt in is to turn these off and then you're going to have to contact them. Um, let's talk about split tests and follow-ups. Where are we at? Uh, okay, now let's talk about managing subscribers. Now, let's. You're going to need to go through this every once in a while. Um, and let's talk about ones that are undelivered. These are people that that are not getting reached. So either they deleted their email or they are blocking you or whatever the case might be. You're just going to hit this and then you're going to unscribe them and then you're going to delete them. Uh, some people leave bogus emails. It's just the way it is. Some people like to do other things and leave crappy emails and some people are just spamming your emails. So you're, if, if you're getting 100, 200 emails a day, you're really going to have to check this and see if they're, see where everything's coming from. Like, where is the traffic coming from? Like, how are you going to present the traffic to do certain things? But anyways, what I am going to do we did sign up forms, right? We did manage lists, inter integrations. Um, oh, let's let's talk about the. Okay, so so after the thirty days, it's twenty dollars. Um, your best bet is to do it for three months, especially if you're under twenty five hundred. It will be forty uh, forty nine dollars for every three months, which is going to save you in the long run because. If you really look at it at three at three months, you're paying twenty, 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 and sixty dollars. You're only saving like eleven dollars, but uh, and when it comes to business, eleven dollars is eleven dollars that you're trying to squeeze out, and, and and plus you don't have to worry about that. Um, let's see, we talked we talked about broadcasts. When you do have broadcasts, and say a a message got a really decent amount of reach. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to put them inside the drafts. You know what? I'm, I'm actually going to show that in a different video. So I, I don't want to leave you on here too long. Okay. So we, we went over a little bit of drafts. We went to broadcast to send them to campaigns. We talked about the legacy follow-up series and manage subscribers. Do if you're going to ask subscribers, uh, you, your best bet is to make sh if you have an old list and you're using a different email software, send them an email saying that you're you're uh, changing over to a to a Weber or you're changing over to uh, put it ever you just don't sign them up. Okay, reports. List options, we are talking about list options and integrations, and we talked about how much to get. So, so it will, so, so for the first 30 days, it will be free. After that, it will be $20. As I said, of your best option is to use the three months and just only pay the 49 But if you have a bigger list, obviously, you have to contact Aweber, say, if you have like 200,000 freaking subscribers, so you're going to have to contact them about that but anyways this end is the end of this video about this aweber review and did a full full-fledged kind of walk through through the entire process aweber here are my kids in the background it's because they're in and out of the house and there ain't nothing i can do about that but anyways hope y'all have a great day a day morning or evening wherever you're from and don't forget to like subscribe and hit that bell just in case this or you Get all the, all the updated messages. I hate the way YouTube has done this, but this is the way it has to be done. But anyways, I'm going to get out of here and let you enjoy your day. Peace.